Hello. So I've had a bit messy, a bit messy room as usual. Hi, it's me, Chris. Um, I wanna take a look at this today. Um, it's an artificial ground plane for a CB antenna. The coax goes there, and the rest of the antenna goes there. Let me just show you. I have a little springer. Normally this would have a mag mount on it, on your car. I've taken the mag mount off, and that just fastens on the standard thread. Screws straight into the bottom of that. Right. Now, we're going to give it a go today, see if it actually does get that SWR down. Um, now I've seen one of these broken open on the internet by uh, I think it was CB UK or something, somewhere like that and they were um, they didn't really rate it very much I think they were, they were not very happy with it when they broke it open it looked like it had been burnt out now I personally think something like this um, if you take a look at the antennas that are designed for to be on boats uh, that use something like this you'll see that they're all fairly low powered antennas 10 watts would be typical so I think you should if you're going to use one of these then you should use just standard power or low power yeah I don't have the actual spec for these, so I don't know what power rating you can put for them, but I reckon it's not going to be much. Now that isn't a problem for me, but me personally, because I only run on standard power. But for many people out there, use burners and stuff like that, so if you use a burner, I think probably this is not the way to go. Now, these are designed for use with uh, plastic mountains <laughs> plastic mountain. on a normal car yeah on a normal CB on a car you'd have a mag mount and you'd have, a, have an antenna on top of the mag mount right if you're trying to mount on a plastic boat or you're trying to put your CB antenna on something that's fiberglass the mag mount won't work. Yeah, not only won't stick, but the part of the antenna that the car's body, the metal part of the car's body, uh, it isn't there. So you you've lost a piece of your car and uh, your car. You've lost a piece of your antenna, and this is like the electronic version of it. If you see the opened up one, there's not much electronic in there, it's just a felt river. Anyway, but the point is, does it work? Now, I'm going to have to mount it somewhere. Now, I don't have a boat handy here. No. I do have this. Now, I don't know if I've shown you this one before. Uh, I did a video of um, a connector I built to um, put my... Uh, signal keeper, my serial signal keeper antenna on top of my, my Klansman 5.4 meter mast and that worked really well but I'm not too happy about lifting it up because the signal keeper has radios coming out of it that um, um, I don't I, I, I worry about them a bit when I'm putting up and down I don't want to sort of drop it and break, snap them so I had another idea which was to put this very stinger I had another idea which was to put this very stinger on top of the clansman mast let me shut that down hello my dog my dog's in here as well uh, the other idea was to put the antenna uh, on top of the mast so what I built was again using a piece of um, piping, uh, just um, waste water waste piping, 
Yeah, and some connectors that you can get. I built this, and um, let me just show you. My antenna goes in the top, like that. And you're wondering, well, I've got no ground plane. Where's the counterpoise? Well, the counterpoise is actually, yeah, it is this nine and a bit foot, nine and a bit foot length of wire that I've got coming out, and it so fastens to the the other part of that. So I'm going to disassemble this. So that you, you, it might make a bit more sense in a minute. Maybe. Look, I screw that all the way in, and now it's all the way out again. There we go. Alright, let me undo this, and I'll show you what's inside. Now, I know I'm digressing here, but it'll all come clear in a few moments. Inside there, you see, I just put a stud mount, yeah? It's got an insulator there, yeah? And then the wire comes off, it's actually on a, a washer. It's actually fastened to a washer that gives me my counterpoise. You see? Clever, eh? I don't need that now. I've got another plan. So this one's coming out. Oh dear. So there's the top. There's the um ah. So I'm never happy with this wire, it's sort of never connected very well. Never fastened very well to the top. So um there's a stud mount there. So that was using and you can get these, these are readily available. That was using one of these stud mounts that you can get for your antenna. Yeah, I'll just show you there's the where the crux goes and that's where the antenna goes. So I'm going to replace that with this because I noticed that this fits in there quite snugly. Yeah. No, I can't get out. Ah. Very snugly. Okay. So that goes in there quite nicely. So I'm going to fasten it to this top. Yeah. And then this top will screw into there. The antenna uh, my cracks can come out here and then this can sit on top of my clansman mast. Good plan, eh? So I'm gonna try and do this in shot. Yeah, rather than just holding it down at the desk. <coughs> this hole's now a bit too big. I could I could um buy another one of these and make a smaller hole in it for that. Now and here's a point, right? If you was to fasten this to uh, a piece of metal, uh, you drill, drill a hole in the car body or something like that and fasten this to it. If it's metal, you've got to imagine that this piece of metal, which is part of the transmitting the antenna, because the antenna screws into this and this screws onto that, yeah? So this piece of metal will now be touching whatever you're screwing this through. Which will mean your antenna is not just your antenna, but it's also whatever you've fastened it to. is also working as your driving plane, driving, whatever you call it, your um, driving element. Possibly. I'm not a hammer, so I don't know these words. <laughs> um, yeah. So that would mean your antenna is going to be the wrong length. So that's a shirt again. If I put this in here, I'll just put a temporary in here. Yeah. So if that was like that, and you would add this on a car body, yeah, well, that's best for. And you had this on a car battery. This this metal would be touching the car body. So this screw would be touching the car body, and this your antenna would also be connected to your car body. Yeah. So. Fastening it to something metal is not the way to go unless you can insulate it from that piece of metal. However, this was designed to go with plastic and fiberglass, yeah? 
So if you're using fa plastic and fiberglass, there's no issue, is there? No. Right, so I'm going to put that through there and put in the plastic washer on the other side and I'm going to screw that down. Yeah, so that's now in there on the lid. The lid can now fasten the lid. Hang on, let me get some cracks. Oh, excuse me, dog. Dog's in there. There's some down there. There's some down there. Ah. What's this? Oh, that's cracks. <coughs> that does a job. Right, that can go through there. So I'll just push the cards through my hole and up, up top and that can screw onto the bottom of that. Okay. This is 18 foot of cards I think. And then that can fasten. Onto that. So now I have the artificial ground plane in there, yeah, and this is the what I use on top of my clansman mass. But this just slots my clansman mass just slots into there, and it fastens with a screw. I'm not going to put on that today, but yeah. And then <coughs> the antenna. can go on here like that simple you see simple what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to a post and then I'm going to transmit I'm going to use my walkie and then use my walkie I'm going to transmit and get an SWRME reading and hopefully it'll be good see you in a minute Okay, we're out here in the real world. Um, I've put the antenna on this piece of trellis post. We've got the wire going down, going into an SWR meter. In here. And then from the SWR meter into my Midland 42. One second. Okay. Well, it's, it's definitely receiving. It's definitely receiving. The question is, will it transmit? Let's um, let's go on to channel one. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, it's been that while. It's been that long since I've been on this radio. I've forgotten how to do it. Right, so channel one. Uh, let's take a look. Channel one. Right, so where are we on? SWR. 10 watts. Okay. I oh, know, do set, set first, don't you? Transmit. Put the SWR on the end. Okay. And then SWR, and we have one and a half. The SWR is one and a half. Okay, on channel 40, on channel 1, okay, again, set, oh, it's more or less the same place, and then SWR, and again, so we're getting back. It's only showing one watt, but you can't you can't go by them. Uh, it's 
showing showing the full blast on there. So it's um giving less than one and a half watts. Oh I'm sorry, one and a half on the SWR. So that's not bad, it actually seems to do the job. Yeah. Yeah, I have as I say, I'll show you again. All I have here is my inside there is the electronic ground plane. And I just have a springer on top of that. And that's it. Not bad, eh? Right, we're back. And um, this little fella did his job. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying that this is a perfect solution. For some people, especially people who want to run high wattage. Yeah. Or burners and stuff like this. Then one of these is probably going to burn out. And be tossed very quickly. Um, so I don't think it's the perfect solution for everybody. But if you're not someone who wants to run power. Or your, your, your particular setup doesn't need the power. Then um, running this on standard power. Uh, it's then. It seemed to do the job. Can't say anything other than that. I certainly got an SWR of what, less than 1.5 of it. So that's it. That's my little electronic counterpoise now a uh, ground plane I should say now the question is where do we go next because we have to experiment we just showed the signal we're sort of receiving we received um, the locals but we're going to have to see how far we can transmit with this little fella aren't we so that will mean the trip to the seaside sometime. And I might invest in a new antenna just for the experiment. Because at the moment I'm just putting it back together as you can see. Looks like yeah. At the moment, yeah, this will take anything that's got a standard thread on it. Yeah. And it's CBR with a standard thread. What I'm thinking is instead of my little springer, which I've always had it, it's just, there's nothing wrong with springers. Look, all right. I've used one for years. Um, as well as having the little springer, how about a nine foot tank whip? Yeah? Nine foot tank whip. This on top of my. Five and a half, uh, five point four meter clansman mast. Out at the beach. What do you reckon? Worth a trip? I think so.